So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Monday, so it's time for another Power BI video. And in today's video, I'm going to do something that you asked me. It's like to review the Power BI navigation. To be honest, I haven't tested until now. And holy smokes, it's good. I've always complained about Power BI navigation, powerbi.com, you know, the cloud service, like not being good at all. I have to take it back. This one is good. It's really, really good. Stay tuned. You have to know this because it's going to make your reports definitely, definitely more useful and appealing for end users. So with that said, let's jump into it and let's review it. You're going to love it. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. This is my plan for today. I have created two video, two reports on FIFA. One when the men's play in 2018 and one when the women play in 2019. And what I want to do now is to bundle those up into an app so the users can consume it. So this is how you would do it. Here's the thing. Difference between workspace and apps. I've, I've, I've been... Uh, this is the way I use it, and I would love to hear how you guys use it. But for me, Workspace, I use them for developing the experience for the end users. So Workspaces are not, in my view, meant for end users. What are meant for end users, though, is the apps. So whatever you do in your Workspace, you keep it to yourself, and you only give access on apps. Okay, so with that said, I have here a workspace called social media, and this is where I put all the public work that I do. So here you'll find the there's some data sets, uh, the Kerbal YouTube Video Index, FIFA, and then I have some, you know, the billionaires. There are some resources that I've shared, and I have everything in here. Now, one of the things that I was wondering is like, okay, so now if I have to publish an app, does it mean that I have to create a workspace just for those two? Because I want to do an app with this report and this report, so men's and women's. And to my surprise, no, you don't. No, you can choose which report goes into which tab, even if they are in the same workspace, which I think is fabulous, really, really good. Okay, so how do you do that? This is where you go. You, Go to datasets, you click update an app or create an app if you haven't an app since before. So we go in there and click it. Now the first and another, you know, sometimes the, the greatest things are in the smallest details. And here the Power BI team think talk twice and it says, okay, it could be now, especially because you can cherry pick which reports goes into which app, it could be actually that they want to have a new app name, which in this case is true. I don't want it to be called social media. I want it to be called FIFA reports, men's and women's, for example. So you, you just can target the name of the app. I'll show you where the name shows later. And if I forget to show you, you'll see it way. <laughs> so you have to give it a description. Take a little bit of time to give a good description. So you can see here you will find both reports for the FIFA games. Men's, uh, men's and women's. Awesome. Now, another really nice feature, it says here, support site. And this is great. So if you have reports, and I've seen this in large organizations where they have a report and then they have a documentation site to document their data sources, the fields, the, some of the calculations, if they have to do a lot of cleaning. So you have the possibility here to, you know, for example, here I have a blog post on the FIFA. So I want to put this as my doc documentation. So you just paste it here. But this could be SharePoint site. It could be an internal uh, intranet page or you name it. Just whatever you're documenting your files, just paste it in there. Uh, then you have the possibility to create a logo. Do it, it's just fun. I mean, I know it takes time, but it, it is quite a lot of fun. I, I would have, for example, here a, um, a FIFA, uh, the, the, the trophy. 
So that would be fun to have it here. I don't want to bore you with that, so I won't do it, but you should do it. Okay, go to navigation. Now, you have to toggle it on and off. This will disappear as, you know, because this feature is on beta, beta so the, they are still developing. When it comes out of beta, then this will disappear and you will have only the new navigation builder, okay? And this is where the magic happens and it is magical for sure. Okay, here. Here you share a peek which reports you want on the navigation. Awesome. Let's go. So I don't want this one. I don't want this one. I want that one. No, not that one. Nope. Nope. And then not that one. And then I'm going to move the map. Just so that I have them up there, but it's not going to make a difference because when I create new resources, you'll see that things will pop up at the end and not at the beginning. That would be an improvement actually to have whenever I click new, it will show up up here or that these things, they just go away somewhere else. But small things, small things. I'm just being picky as usual. So what are the things that you can do here? First of all, uh, whatever you put the first is the thing that, let me show you. Let's publish the app. Uh, well, let's go through the permissions first very quickly. You can have publish to the entire organization or to specific individuals or groups. And if you have a specific, a specific individuals or groups, you can install the app automatically. That means that the app gets pushed. I recommend to have these for all the official reports, right? So they get pushed to the organization because most people, they don't know how to get an app, to be honest. So that is something that this should be uh, improved for sure. So you have the possibility to install this automatically and then you have allow users to connect the app underlying data sets using the build permission. What does it mean? I've done a report or a video on shared uh, data sets and I'll link them below so you can go and check it out. But basically what this means is that you allow users and users to be able to create their own reports using the data set, the underlying data set. So if you want that, if you want them to be able to create, for example, if I would like them to create the, their own version of the FIFA reports, I will click on it. Otherwise, you don't click. And then you can allow the users to make a copy of their, their report that I'm showing so they can modify it or you want them to start from the beginning. So they will have to start from scratch. You choose, okay? Publish the app. Oh, I'm going to publish to the entire organization. Let's do that. Publish. And then you'll see. One of the things that bothered me, I can never control click to go to the new tab. It just opens on the one and then I have to go back and forth, but fine. Again, I'm just share. It's just being picky. So it's building my app. Funny that it takes so long. It didn't take that long on my tests. And here we have it. Okay. Um, one of the things I, I saw it was that this thing was like up here most of the time, uh, which was quite annoying actually. There should be like a standard, maybe this is way too big. And again, I'm being picky, but it's just feedback. So way too big. I would like to have it smaller. Here is the title that we gave in the beginning that you know frames what this is about. And the first thing you publish is the first thing that will show up in the big screen, right? So whatever you have, it will show up here, which is great. Um, if you click F11, you know, to have the Chrome list to rem remove the, um, I don't know why it's working now. It will look absolutely, it just looks gorgeous. You have the filter pane and you have, I, I still think that this, is too big. It doesn't need to be that big, but all this stuff disappears. And they, I thought, I think it was a very good design actually that you don't have all this when you are actually navigating the report. Great job. I would love to have this wrapped. It is not, but again, it, this is the first time they are publishing this. So I, I still think it's great. Click go back and it will take you to where you don't want to go if you are designing this but that's fine. Okay, so go back and then we're going to do a little bit of changes in this navigation. First of all, I think for the first page, you have a possibility to create sections and links. We're going to create, 
first section so you can see it. So section we're going to call it Power BI Report. And I'm going to move this up. So a section is basically a possibility to group stuff into the into the, that specific section, so it hides. So you have to, you know, open it and close. I'm going to show you how it works. I, I was a little bit, uh, you know, when I was playing with it, like how on earth? Because if you do like that and you do nothing else and update the app, hopefully it doesn't take that long. Some bef that's before you see it doesn't collapse. So would you want these two to be below? Beneath, underneath that and it is not so it was still opening in the first one which I don't want that and I want this below you, you see this is not working but this is what you have to do uh, you have to go in here and then section pick the section so it's not enough to put it underneath you have to pick the section I would rather have so whatever is underneath and there's no section below it just gets inside but obviously you can have other problems if you do it like that or just like plus minus. Anyhow, I'm, again, I'm being picky. Let me show you how that looks. Because now you're going to see the desire effect. So it is still opening up. I, I don't think I, it shouldn't. I, I mean, I could show the summary, the first page without opening it up, but still now you can collapse and open you see so this is great this fantastic feature so let's continue building this i think it should have a first page where you know you just introduce your users to whatever report you are creating for this spe specific thing i actually have uh, a video so I have a video here. Don't talk. Don't, don't. Hello, so are you looking for a... So there you go. I put the link in there. And here's the thing. So if you just post, paste the link uh, in there, it won't work. You need to have an embed link. And it was a little bit unclear for me what exactly that meant. So this is what you need to do. For example, for YouTube, I'll show you with other things. But for YouTube, you need to go here to share, click embed, and you copy these. Let me go now to, I don't know. That's fine. Notepad, any, any text that you have, paste it in there. And what you need is the link you, don't, you cannot paste the iframe stuff. You can only paste the SRC link. That's the one that will work. So you go in here, close there. You have to paste that. It says here embed. So you know that you're embedding the stuff. And then current tab, group, no section, update app. And you'll see what happens. Go to app. And now... Aha, oddly, novice is still open in Power BI, even though I have something else in the beginning. Not good. I understood that the first thing that you had up there, it was the one that would show. So that's not the case. Well, that's another feedback point. <laughs> I would like this to be the first one. Is it because it's an embed link? That was weird. Oh, maybe because I have it in the new tab? That could be it. Let me let me check that very quickly. As you can see, I'm still learning the ropes for this. But it says on current tab, on content area, yeah, maybe there. Update app. Let's see if that keeps the first page as the first page, because that's exactly what we want in this case. Let's see when it publishes. Building the app, yay! Now we have it. Okay, so you have if you have built in, uh, in current thing, then it'll show up first. So now it's not showing as a Power BI report. Well, that's great that I did wrong because now you know and I know. Okay, so we're going to continue building this thing. Uh, so you have to have content area instead of current tab or new tab. So current tab it opens in a new tab, but in the in the same place, and new tab it will open in a new tab. 
Now, what else do we want to do? We're going to create a new section and we're going to call it documentation. So we want to have a, a documentation page where we can actually help users understand uh, what's going on. Actually, I'm thinking that this should be all the way in the bottom instead of all the way up. So when they're building, you're building it correctly. I take that back. But yeah, so documentation, we have that. We're going to create now a link and we're going to link to, um, let's say, tutorial on how to build the report. And I'm going to go again to my documentation. I'm going to show you why I'm doing this when it's already in there. And I'm saying in the content area and group documentation and update app. You know, if you remember in the, in the beginning when we uh, were publishing the app, the setup, there was a possibility to have a documentation link. Well, it is hidden in here. So I, I don't know what the chances are that somebody will find this link and click on it. Here it is. So I think it is better to have it like there, you know, this will take them to a website, hopefully. And then they'll have it there. I would rather have it embed all the time so they are not leaving the app. Otherwise they will open like 3000 tabs. So I have it in here. I think it works much, much better. So Something else you might say, oh, Ruth, but you know, when we're publishing these things, we don't have the possibility to link to external sources like you're doing, you know, like YouTube and blog posts. So here's what I did. I've created a document. This is the document. It is called FIFA resources. And if you want to embed this as your documentation, you can go in here file and then share and then embed and then again you copy that code and you have to extract the part that you need which is src whatever link it is on src which is source is a short for source and once you have it you go in here and then here we can have a new link which says all resources for example and then you paste the link to the embed word document on the content area for documentation, update the app and go to app. And hopefully it will show correctly. Let's go all resources. And this is your word document. Great, right? So you can embed absolutely anything you want. Basically, I'm going to show you something that I saw online. It was from DataVal. So David, I'm sure you know who he is. And he was like, oh, I love this. Nav also, they like the navigation uh, thing. And he created a forum to get feedback on the report. I think that is fantastic idea, actually. So I copy him and I created a feedback report. So you go to forums. You create the forum is like super useful, yeah, so easy. Uh, and um, once you are done, you go here, share, duplicate, and then you copy the the embed code that you get. Again, you go to a notepad of some kind, paste it, and then you get here the URL that you need, and then you go back to Power BI back to building your app and we're going to create a link to that feedback forum so we're going to go new link call it feedback paste the link on content area no section i want to have it as a tab because i want people to see it it shouldn't be hidden it shouldn't be difficult to give feedback and then you go to app and there you have it, feedback forum. And there it is, the feedback forum. This is fantastic. I'm really happy about this.
I think it looks great. I think they've done a great job. It is intuitive. It is easy to see. I'd rather have this one up here instead of down there. It takes a lot of, you know, real estate. I think it's too big too. Um, but again, I'm being picky. This is wonderful. You can pick which reports you want. I really, 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 really like this thing. So I'm wondering, what, what do you think? What, what do you, uh, have you done any cool stuff here? Just let us know in the comment box so we all learn from you. And uh, yeah, make sure you create now beautiful apps. There's no reason to not doing that, okay? So I think this is all for today. I will see you again on Wednesday with another Power BI video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.